Good morning, gang. Happy Thursday morning. Okay, before I start today, uh, just wanted to make everybody know, in case you didn't see the community post yesterday, I get it, okay? There's been audio issues on videos lately, some static, some crackling, whatever. I don't know if it's on my end or if it's on the powers that be messing with us. I've heard you hundreds of you in the comments all of which got deleted because they don't bring anything to the conversation you know the one thing i'll ask read the comments you don't need to reiterate the same thing 90 other people said before you okay i've purchased a new microphone it'll be here in about a week so everybody that was complaining that the videos were quiet okay they're going to be quiet for a week because I'm going to be using the phone microphone. So hopefully we have uh, clear sound again before the new microphone comes in. Just saying. Bear with me. I heard you. Okay. So let's get into today. Uh, today is February 1st. I can't believe January is over already. Uh, today is the first day of Black History Month. And I know what's going to be said all over the country from everywhere you know why do we have a black history month there's no white history month i okay it's not where i'm going with this right this is i'd rather see the country come together than the country rip each other's throats out okay because you know as well as i do that the elites are doing whatever they can to start some sort of race war in the country. The Democrats are all over this. They are stoking the fire left and left and right with this reparations bullshit and everything that is going on. Okay, I mean California is again in the news. Well, now they're trying to come up with a reparations package uh, that won't include money, but will include discounts on housing and government assistance and we've had all that for 60 years uh it didn't work okay what we need is better education we need two-parent households etc cetera, etc cetera. that those are the things jobs those are the things that we need to help the inner cities out okay so this week or this month rather than listen to all the vitriol that comes out of both sides about how oh gee we were oppressed and everything no let's take a look at some of the good things okay don't listen to all the the bs that was that comes out oh we need reparations the civil war was all about slavery remember when nikki haley got asked about that and they crucified her not that i'm a nikki haley fan Okay. They crucified her because she didn't say that the Civil War was about slavery. Note to everybody, the Civil War was not about slavery. The main issue the Civil War was fought over was states' rights. It was not slavery. Okay. No, the United States was not built on the backs of the black community. You can talk about plenty of Chinese who, oh, I don't know, the gold rush or the railroad system. Yeah, okay, you could talk about that. You could talk about the Irish. You could talk about a whole bunch of different uh, ethnicities that built the backbone of this country that our ancestors all did. I'm pre pretty much betting every one of our ancestors busted their ass to make some sort of contribution to the country being what it is today. The problem we have is today's generations don't want to continue what their ancestors did. They don't want to continue to work hard to contribute for society. They don't want to better their lives. They just want to put their hand out and that is black, that is white, that is Hispanic, that is Asian, that is pick, a, pick somebody, okay? We have gotten away from the mindset that built this country of what can I do to benefit everybody 
to what can everybody else do that'll benefit me. I mean, go back to JFK. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. What happened to that mindset? We used to have that, where people took pride in what they did. Where people worked an honest day's work and got paid an honest day's pay. Hmm. We have a little bit of problem there because some people still work. A lot of people still work. Do they get an honest day's pay? No. Why? Because we have too many of these elite CEOs that think they are worth $600 million a year or whatever and pissing on the people below them. Okay? You know me. I'm not for a free lunch. Okay? You work for what you have. But you, and you also know me that I am not against somebody getting wealthy. Let's put it this way. I mean, that should be one of the objectives of everybody is to better their lives. And most often that comes with money. Okay. You know, gee, you want a better house or something? Well, you got to pay for it. Okay. But there comes a point where it's ridiculous. Uh, what was it? Uh, Elon Musk salary or something yesterday got turned down in court in Delaware, I think it was, $56 billion a year. Hey, come on, okay? You know, you don't need that. Nobody needs that kind of money. It can be spread down a little bit lower. I'm not saying socialist or anything, but anything that where everybody should make the same amount of money. No, okay? Sorry, not even two people in the same job should necessarily make the same amount of money because they have different skills. You know, people should be paid what they are worth. You know, and again, we go into minimum wage, and I'm, you know, me, I'm an absolute opponent of minimum wage. That should be set by the markets. You want to pay $3 an hour to your employees? Great. You should be allowed to pay $3 an hour to your employees. Your employees also have the ability to say, I ain't working for $3 an hour, so you don't have any employees. You know, there's the thing. And the company says, okay, in order to get people here, we have to pay $12 or $14 or $9 or whatever it is. Okay. You know, nobody's forcing anybody to take a job. We don't have slavery anymore. Okay. Just to let everybody know, we're one of the few, fewer, I mean, not a ton of countries do. There's a lot of slavery that still goes on in the world. Ain't here. We haven't had it in 100 and what, 60 years? Okay. So when we hear all this reparation stuff, you know, no, sorry, <laughs> not happening. Little fact for you, in 1860, okay, just, just to give you an idea where this reparation stuff comes from, in 1860, the peak of slavery 1.4% of the American public owned slaves. That was it. Okay. So you want reparations? Fine. You prove that you are a descendant of a slave and you go to court and you sue the descendants of those people that actually owned your family and see how that works out. The rest of us, we got nothing to do with this. Like I said, many times my family wasn't even here. So, no, you ain't getting any money from me. But so here it is. It's Black History Month. And rather than everybody bitch about why is that, why does this even exist? Yeah, I will give you this. There are a lot of contributions that the black community has made to the United States. A lot of, a lot of contributions that the Asian community, the Hispanic community, the Indian community, the white community. We, we've all made contributions. But this month, in the interest of Black History Month, let's do this. Let's celebrate people like Hank Aaron and not Barry Bonds. Let's celebrate Maya Angelou and not Spike Lee. Let's celebrate John Coltrane and not Lizzo or MLK instead of L. Sharpton. How about if we celebrate Thurgood Marshall instead of Katanji Brown Jackson? 
How about maybe recognizing Rosa Parks and not Kamala Harris? Or Jackie Robinson instead of Colin Kaepernick? Hmm? Maybe Frederick Douglass instead of Barack Obama? Jesse Owens instead of LeBron James? How about Louis Armstrong and not R. Kelly? There have been some great, great contributors to this country as a whole from all races. Don't ever let the broad brush paint everybody because of one bad person's, or many, bad person's actions. Not everybody in the black community is a gangbang around the south side of Chicago. Most certainly not. Okay. Not every white person, if you will, is I don't know, pick somebody that you you there's plenty of dirt bags in the white community and in the Hispanic community and in the Asian community. Yada da da da. I mean you can think you want to use those, think of the Yakuza or think of the cartels. But there's also great people in those communities too. As we go through this month and we hear all the both sides of things, everybody should do this or nobody should do this, that sort of crap, remind yourself that when it all blows up, when the globalists, when the elites, when the Klaus Schwabs and the Jeff Bezos and the Bill Gates try to destroy everything, your brother may not look like you. You know, it's really time that we judge a man by its con by his content of his character and not the color of his skin. Remember that this month.